Have you ever thought about how parents, well, parent? According to child psychologists, there are two aspects of parenting that can influence child development, emotion, and behavior, control and warmth. The control aspect describes how parents react to their children and which methods they use to parent. The warmth aspect is how much affection parents give their children. Learning about the different combinations of high or low control or warmth of these parenting styles could benefit current and future parents and their children. With that said, let's get into the four different parenting styles. Number one, authoritative parenting. Authoritative parenting is high on both control and warmth. These parents set strict rules and consequences, but they also make sure not to ignore their child's feelings. They are warm, nurturing, and encouraging, and willing to listen to their children and consider their point of view. But they also make it clear that adults are in charge here. With this approach, they have control over their children, but not in an overbearing way. This parenting style has been considered the best because it's a perfect balance of rules and affection. Children that were raised by authoritative parents are usually happy, confident, respectful, and successful. They rarely show signs of problematic behaviors such as addiction, alcoholism, or problems with the law because the control their parents had over them ensured to teach them good behavior. And since they received so much love growing up, they can love and fulfill themselves and have stable and secure relationships with others. Number two, authoritarian parenting. It sounds similar to authoritative parenting, but make sure not to confuse the two. Authoritarian parents are also high on control, but their parenting is lacking warmth and emotion. These parents believe children should follow rules without exception. They are strict and believe in punishments and discipline. While enforcing their rules, they don't really care about their children's emotions. Negotiation is just not an option in their house. They may seem cold and distant when dealing with their children, and sometimes they can even get hostile and aggressive. When their children grow up, they're obedient, respect authority and follow the rules. But because their opinions were never heard or valued, they have problems with self-esteem. It's hard for them to communicate their wants and needs with confidence. Because of this, they may be prone to depression or anxiety disorders. Number three, permissive parenting. Kids usually like this parenting style the most because those parents show little control and lots of warmth. They often say that kids will be kids and are quite forgiving when their kids make mistakes and might sometimes act more like friends than parents. They like talking with their children and joking around and they rarely put their foot down. But no matter how much their kids like that treatment, the permissiveness comes with a price. Children raised this way are often low in self-control, consideration for others, and in achievement motivation. They are also more likely to experiment with drugs or alcohol. They also might struggle academically and have low motivation for higher education. And number four, uninvolved parenting. Unfortunately, some parents don't really care about warmth nor control. Those parents, uninvolved ones, barely ever show interest in their children. They don't ask about their needs, schoolwork, or friends. They let their kid do whatever they want while expecting them to take care of themselves too. They can be straight up neglectful, cold, and rejecting when their kids seek their help. Uninvolved parenting also has negative effects on children. They don't do well in school, don't have fulfilling friendships, and have high levels of depression, anxiety, and drug use by the time they're teenagers, and are also likely to struggle with their self-esteem. If you're not a parent, which parenting style did your parents have while raising you? And what effects did it leave on you? And if you are a parent, in which category do you feel you fit in? Let us know in the comments if you feel like there's room for improvement. Good job on taking the first step. With lots of learning, dedication, and willingness, you can achieve that perfect balance and become an authoritative parent, raising a happy, protected, and confident child. If you like this video, please share it. The references and studies used are listed in the description below. Until next time, friends, take care, and thanks for watching.